The question is, are these legit? Let me see what these are going for. I'm copping these guys. That was honestly one of the craziest thrift pickups I've ever had. Yo, what's up guys? Today we are in Tokyo for the first of like two days. We decided to stop over in Tokyo on the way back from the Philippines. I've got my uh, pretty much broke yen socks specifically for this trip. Really excited about rocking these. With that being said, let's just adventure and see what's up. We have literally no plans. We probably should, but we don't. Let's go. Egg. Damn. You want some? I might want some. You can go order some if you want. Yeah, I might. I was just chugging down my drink. Let me just let you guys know it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I realized. It's like noon. Yo, we got 5% alcohol in this place. Yeah, but where we're in Philadelphia, it's like 10 p.m. So oh, yeah, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, right? So there are these instructions on how to eat it. There's a lot of stuff that you do, but honestly, it's worth it. It's really good. It's dope. All right, so I'm going a little nuts at the Nintendo store. I'm getting Japanese Smash and then also a shirt for Jordan. And uh, I'm stoked. This box, this packaging for this shirt is crazy. I love it. Man. I'm dropping a bag, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy more stuff, too. Yo, bro, we got to charge up our Pokemon right now, dude. Ready to do it? I'm so excited. I knew it. I wanted to come here for the last three days. I knew you were. I had to do it. Now we're at Second Street in Tokyo, which is crazy. We got Supreme Fives. For what, 35? I have no idea what 35 is. What's that? Oh, these. I would want these. I would get these and I'd rock these. Like, no question. I guess we'll do the math. So these might be my size and they're only like 315. I might actually grab these because I've wanted these for a minute. <sighs> That's crazy. Wow, Supreme Louie for 329. That's crazy. This is the most insane second street I've ever been to in my entire life. I've never seen anything like it. So many shoes. 39. Crazy. We got these guys too. A 39. These ones, I don't know what these ones are. 59. I think it is 27 uh, centimeters. I think it's exactly my size. I know. I got these too. These are my size too, us. I'm gonna get, but if I, these are like brand new. These are legit brand new, eight and a half. For what, 32, nine? 32, nine. 33, yeah. 230. 230? They're brand new, too. Dang, what the? Oh, they got Travis's too? This is a crazy place. What? 35? That's crazy. How much are these? These are brand new, too. 45, nine. And then you've got shadows right here for 39. Got a bunch of Travis's. You even got the fours. And you got some dunks down there too. What dunks are these? And then you've also got the, the 50, the 50 of the 50. Nike dunk, the off-white 50. Yo, these are only 29, dude. These are only 29. I guess. This is crazy. That's, a, that's my size. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to grab these, legit. I might have to grab, oh, there's so much stuff I wanna grab here. I can't believe how nuts the second street is. It's got everything, like so much stuff. I mean, look at this, you got brand new Jordan 185s. You got We The Best. You got the twos, you got Nike Dunk UNCs for how much? 30, no, for 39? What? So after checking these out on eBay, they really only go for about 240 used, and this is about 280, so these aren't actually as good of a deal as I was thinking. <laughs> but I will say that there are some crazy deals here. So these are a size nine, which is my size, a pair that I've always wanted. And they're in insane condition, and they're forty-four nine. What's that? Three fifteen. Plus minus ten dollars. Dude, they go for like six on eBay. I'm not kidding. What? This is nuts. Okay, I'm grabbing these. I'm grabbing these. What's happening? No, I'm keeping them. I'm rocking them. I've wanted these for a really long time. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even lying. So these are also crazy. These are a size nine, which is my size, and they're only two fifty USD. And I think they go for like lowest end three on eBay, which is kind of crazy. So I think I might grab these for myself. To be honest too because it's also a size nine you believe that i think someone dropped their collection because there's a food bag. it seems like i just don't want to bring both of these back in my suitcase but the look, good thing is there's probably no box yeah there's definitely so no box we don't have to worry about 
That's so nuts. Should I get both or just the foams? I don't know what to do. These might be the craziest finds I've ever had at any kind of thrift store ever. This is nuts. And I know it's like, they're still expensive, but compared to what they actually go for, this is insane. These Lagoon Pulses are worn, but 215 is a really great price. I might have to grab these. All right, I think I'm gonna leave these because I just don't need that many shoes to fit in my luggage and then grab these. That's the plan. Even though I, I do want those, I actually want everything here, but this is what I'm gonna grab. I don't know. I mean, we can legit check them. I, I don't know if you can return. Okay, so Asa's copping the fives. I'm copping these guys. Stoked, this is so crazy. All right, so that was absolutely insane. A lot of them come with boxes. Now there's one glitch. We need our passport. We didn't bring our passports, and apparently we need our passports to buy those shoes. So we're gonna have to go get our passports, 20 minute walk, and then uh, come back before they close and grab them. Sweet, well, I'm just gonna go back. And I guess we'll grab your shoes and then we'll go back. Sweet. That was honestly one of the craziest thrift pickups I've ever had. Now, I know that's not really exactly thrift, at least you guys don't consider it that, but it really is, realistically. And uh, I just, I can't believe it. There's a lot, there's so many. But most of them don't have sneakers. Yeah, definitely not. And the sneakers that we found, there was so much more. You guys saw all the stuff that was in there, it was crazy. And the fact that they had all of that for that price was nuts. And we went to a consignment store and looked at the prices and it was like quadruple, except obviously they were DS, but still, it was nuts. So I'm grabbing some assorted gifts and uh, there's these sushi magnets which I'm gonna be honest look like real sushi. The problem is, is I don't know if my wife wants these on the fridge so I'm gonna put these back and then also you might notice the Fast and Furious can so yeah grabbing that too. Stock egg store in Japan which is kind of crazy or I guess in uh, Harajuku. It might be one of the situations where like you drop off shoes here or something. That's kind of crazy. A lot of new balances. So that StockX store was kind of like a, I guess you could drop off your shoes there, but they also had shoes for sale. So that was kind of interesting. That was wild. All right, so we've been legit checking all these shoes. On the bed was a bad idea. I, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea, but they'll change the sheets, it'll be fine. But uh, let me check out and see if we got uh, any good results. So the results are in for everything. The other two shoes, the fives and the fives. I, uh, I'm i pretty sure the off-whites are legit. Like I would I would say because they've got a box, I have a pair, like they look good. These ones, I'm not as sure about. I'm hopeful, but I'm not as sure about. So we got all the results in. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Here we go, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Let's start with the first one. These are good. And these are good, bruh. Bro, we're good. Guys, if you wanna check out the legit checking service that I use, I use the Unbox app, which is an app that I'm a part owner of. They have their own legit checking service. It's awesome. You can take a bunch of pictures of the shoes. It's a lot more thorough than other services out there. There's a lot of things that you can do to legit check shoes, and the fact that they have you take a bunch of pictures and they take their time to really look at the shoes and make sure that they are, in fact, legit makes me feel a lot more comfortable with this service and other services out there. But if you guys wanna check out the Unboxed app, which is not only a great way to categorize your sneakers, but also has the swap to cop feature, which is super cool, which is basically an auction where you can swap your brand new sneakers for other sneakers, um, make sure to check out the Unbox app by clicking the link at the top of the description below. Once again, I am a part owner of the app, but the reason I am a part owner of the app is because I really believe in it. I think it's a great app and you guys should definitely check it out. It's not on Android yet, but it's coming soon. So uh, all you iOS users, I don't know what I was doing there, but. So everything's legit checked, everything's good. It's crazy that we found so much good stuff at a second street in Tokyo. I never expected that. I didn't even know there was second street in Tokyo, but uh, everything's legit. Every single thing, it's crazy. I think in total we spent probably around 750 bucks or maybe like 800. You guys probably already saw it a lot in the vlog, but just to give you guys a, an update. So these are the Off-White Air Jordan 5s in a size eight and a half, smaller than Osman's size, but he can make it work, especially because these shoes have like a thinner um, lining. The padding's a little bit thinner, so they do fit. I usually go down to a size eight and a half. I'm a size nine, uh, but I do that in the Off-White 5s because there's less padding, so they fit looser. The Supreme Air Jordan 5s, the camo colorway, super, super crazy shoe. This this is the one that didn't come with the box. This is a pair that I actually had uh, back when they first dropped. I picked up a pair on the, back when these dropped, it was the sneakers app wasn't out. No, it was, it was just out. The sneakers app was out, but I grabbed a size 14 in these. The outsole of the shoes are in crazy good condition. I don't know if you guys can see it in the light, but yeah, legit check these. They are good to go, which is crazy. But these are legit check, these are good. They come with the box, which is crazy. And uh, 
I bought these for 250 and these currently right now on eBay in this condition, which is first of all amazing. The only thing is that the outsole is yellowing a little bit, but there's like no dirt on the outsole. The upper of the shoe is barely, like there's no scuffs. The shoe is almost in perfect condition. It's insane. Um, in this condition, you could probably get $800 to $900. And uh, to actually have a pair now is crazy. And to be able to buy it in Tokyo used with a box, even crazier. So with that being said, let's get back to the city and get back to exploring and get back to Austin looking swag. He's, he's swagging up right now. Let's see. Oh, you got the gallery top. He just bought the gallery shoes. Those are nice. Well, you had some good pickups yesterday. You had the gallery vans and the off-white fives. That's some good pickups. Yeah. Yo, first thing on the agenda, we got this free coffee. We're gonna drink this, try it out, see if it's any good. Black killer coffee. And second thing is Austin's gonna take a photo. In the middle of the crossing. I mean, apparently you're the should be boy in this situation. On this, on the, oh my gosh. No way. Thank you so much. No way. Thank you. Maybe I'll do this next week. Thanks so much for watching, man. I appreciate it. We're trying the apple juice. Japanese apple juice. That looks good. Ooh. Look at this, oh, so many different options too. You've got this energy shot of Pepsi, which is probably crazy. I think I had it with Teddy last time I was here. They've got Apple Lipton, by the way, as well. They've got, look at this, dude. So much stuff. I'm gonna try the Apple juice as well, actually. Can I get Apple Lipton and you get this? Sure. No, I'd rather I'll, have I'll, I'll get, I'll one of each. Get one of each. It's like candy. Really? It's like, yeah. it's... It's not like regular apple juice. I don't know if I like it or I don't like it. I mean, it's good, I think. <laughs> I just don't know. Damn, bro. Dang. It tastes like apple candy. It tastes like apple candy, not exactly. Like apple juice. It's pretty wild. You're getting your water from right there. Order your sushi right here. Oh, this tea? Oh, no way. Oh, there goes some, someone's food. So Aspen ordered a bunch of individual stuff and it keeps showing up and it keeps running out of room. <laughs> There's so much stuff. <laughs> it's like you ordered so much individual stuff. Here we go. Let's go. Round two, let's go. Damn, all that individual ordering, man. You got basically the same amount that I got. And <laughs> like, I had two plates and you had like, because you got the, all the individuals. Okay, final thing. It, dude, it, it chimes quick, bro. Osman's trying to catch it right when it comes. Top, top, top. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that's teamwork. That was dope. That was all dope. Can't believe they have these. They might not have them, they might just be on display, but these literally just dropped. The LEDs are kind of screwing with the camera a bit. That's nuts. I might actually have to grab a pair of these. We'll see, we'll see. These really nice NMDs, NMBS1s. I got this white pair and then this black pair. This other white pair, I don't know if you guys can hear me. And then these actually really clean collabos right here. I like these a lot. And also, I'm just noticing now, the 420s. But with everything pulled off, that's crazy. I never thought I'd see these with all the stuff off. We got the Jordan Mules. You guys can't hear me because the music is too loud. All right, so we hit up Atmos, but as you guys probably could figure, uh, the music was crazy loud. So we checked out the Satin Dunks, which is pretty crazy. I didn't even know this dropped. There were some other really cool Dunks and Jordans and things like that. Um, I don't think the Jordan scene is as big as maybe the New Balance scene or even the um, Adidas scene uh, in Tokyo. I could be wrong about that, but um, they did have some good stuff. So these KOs must have just released because I've been seeing these at Kith and here and then you got these guys which I actually had a pair of. You got the twos and then you got the threes. Actually this seems like a good size, like a, a men's size. What size is this? This is a size seven. Okay so right on the cusp of men's sizing. But crazy to see these sitting here. I mean in women's sizes but still. Yeah, you should cop. I don't think I'd wear it. But... How much is it? Seven, like hundred bucks. Seventy. I'm like 
I think you should do it. It's like super Japanese. Yeah, that'd be cool. I like this Japanese. Oh man, I forgot they brought these back. I could have left these in the vault. You would get some height in these. It's not soft either. It's like stiff plastic. This is crazy. I've never seen this before. There's a huge line, like, I mean, probably hours long for these guys, because apparently we got a bunch of these today. So it literally wraps around the entire store. It's nuts, but that's why we're not grabbing anything today. Even though there's some good stuff, it's just not worth waiting in that line for. He's like wearing the socks. In the front? Yeah. Or, or in the Shout out to him oh, rocking the socks. Oh, from California. Let's go. That's awesome, man. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it, dude. Thank, thank you. So, so after yesterday's second street was so dope. Oh, man. <laughs> We're gonna stop by this other one right over here. Cause I mean, why not? Up here they got the Nike Dunks, the Supreme Nike Dunks. They got the Atmos Air Maxes. They got the Chunky Dunkies, Travis Scott's ones, more ones. This is crazy. This is the craziest place I've ever been. This is nuts. I can't even believe it. It just keeps going. You got CDGs, you got, oh my gosh, you got threes. How much? The Atmos is? That's a good price, dude. 72,900, I think it's a good price. That's a good price. I think so, they go for like over a thousand, I think. Maybe 800, 900. Oh, they got, dude, they got Travis's right here. I'm not even kidding. That's nuts, bro. What? Travis is for 49. You should get those, dude. That's crazy, dude. What size are they? What is this? I can't believe this. Why are these Second Street so good? We've got the Spider-Mans, the Origin ones. This is crazy. I can't believe all the stuff that they have. Look at this for 54. That seems about right, actually. Early worn. That's crazy. Your size? Would you cop? How much are they going for? Easy 500s up here. Yeah, some good stuff. Nasman's getting his grail shoe, which you said was your grail shoe in the big boy video. Which is crazy. You're getting them. You got them, dude. Look at that. So how much in total did you pay? Uh, well, my math, it's five, uh, 500, like even. Which is about, which is actually cheaper than it is on GOAT and they're in better condition for the same price. Or for cheaper. So yeah, like- They're like, in this condition, maybe like seven to 800 on GOAT. That's a good pickup, dude. That is a really good pickup. I'm jealous. Those are actually really fire. Give us a full-on unboxing of your new shoes. Let's see them. That pickup. The Atmos in Japan. That's probably why I did it. Yeah, no, that's a good call. It's a Japanese shoe, my grail, and in, in Japan. That's a great story. That's a shoe you can't ever get rid of now because you got such a good story behind it. And you got it for such a good price. That's nuts. Very nice. I actually haven't seen these in person yet. I didn't even know these dropped, I'll be honest with you. That's crazy. Actually, very fittingly today on foot, I've got the ALD 1906s in this crazy New Balance store. Here's some pretty clean colorways. I like those. We've got a bunch of 1906s in these other pretty clean colorways. These a lot. These are very, very clean. I've got these 991 made in the UKs. You never see these in the United States. This is crazy. The leather on this is ridiculous. It's nuts. 35,000 yen. I'm not exactly sure what that is. The material quality in these is ridiculous. Definitely warranting the 250 price point. We've got like a lot of different pairs. In fact, these guys over here, the 1500s, also in full leather. Crazy. Then you got the Made in the USAs. You can definitely see the Teddy Santis vibe in the store. It's pretty, uh, pretty apparent, especially in this corner. But well guys, that pretty much wraps up our trip to Tokyo. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you guys want to see us travel some other places, let us know. Let us know. Yo, yo, how's it going? It's good to meet you.